quick little video today. One of the most common questions I get on this channel, or uh, on comments and emails both, is probably what is the stuff I put on the end of these logs? What this is, is a product called a uh, anchor seal. And it's really made for one use and one use only. And that's for painting the end of these logs. And uh, it's not paint. And when it dries, it dries on clear and you won't never see it again. This white right here just looks clear. But this is a, like a wax substance. And I'm not sure technically on everything that's actually in it to really tell you about it. You can go to their website, I'll put it below a link to it and you can read about it if you like. But I know, all that I do know is it does a great job. And the, what it does, it seals up the end of this log here and it prevents it from drying out on the end grain. And uh, because when wood dries out on the end grain, which is where it naturally dries from, that's why you get the checks or the cracking. Because the wood will shrink in the tangential plane and not the radial plane. And here's one way to look at it without trying to get too fancy and technical here. But you have the radial plane, which shoots out from the pith in a radial manner. And then you've got the tangential plane, which runs perpendicular to the radial plane. Now the radial plane will shrink, but nowhere near as fast as the tangential plane. That's why when you have quarter sawn lumber on the radial plane, why it doesn't shrink very much at all. A, a true quarter sawn board is going to shrink more on its uh, thickness than it will its width. So that's why it's a really stable uh, lumber to saw, it's quarter sawn. But anyways, the tangential plane, which runs in a circle, if you want to think about it that way, will shrink uh, twice as fast as the radial plane, or, or probably faster than that. And that's why you get these checks, because it runs on the radial plane, the check wheel, because this wood is trying to pull apart. And uh, that's the reason you want to coat this stuff as fast as you can with this anchor seal, especially in spring and summer when it's hot. In wintertime, you can get away with it for a week or two, I've found. But in the summertime, when this stuff is green as it can be, is the time to put this on as it's going to try to dry, dry up pretty fast at the beginning stages when it drops. But anyways, that's why we put this stuff on. I think it's about $25 a gallon or something like that. Kind of a short video there. I just wanted to clarify what that anchor seal was. So hopefully you guys kind of get a better understanding of that. But anyways, if you have time, check out our website as well. We got a few t-shirts left and I might get a different color in, in, in the next uh, few weeks, maybe a different design. We're not sure yet. And uh, I'm not sure if it'll be up there when this video comes out, but I'm gonna be starting posting some, uh, be posting some wood on there for sale as well. And also some those wooden bowls that I like to carve. Anyways, check it out if you have time. Anyways, we'll try to put out some more content next week. We had some terrible rain last week here and it really put a damper in my plans. Between that and the skid steer breaking down, 
and the flat tire I had on this log arch here, I really didn't have a productive week at all. But we'll try to make up for it next week.